Right. Yeah. You're far side. Good. You can sit here. Relax. No, no, keep it. It's easier to give them the ball. Welcome back to Campo Marte. Welcome back to Campo Marte, Mexico City, to the Rugby Americans North Region 17 tournament. Right now, I'm here with Keteo. Yes, how are you? And we're ready to start the game between Bermuda and Cayman Islands. This is for fifth and sixth place. We're coming to the end of this tournament. It's been a long day. And we're about to start this game. Some of the teams are really tired because of <laughs> playing two straight days. We yes, we've had a lot of injuries as well. Not to mention the altitude of Mexico City, who has taken its toll in several of the players. <laughs> Most of them. <laughs> Maybe even the Mexicans as well. <laughs> anyway, um, Bermuda's in gray. Cayman Islands in white. Here we go. The referee is about. He's just getting something out of the way. We're waiting on. We don't know yet. But we're a few seconds to start. A few moments. I don't know what the problem could have been. We have all seven players, both sides are on. You may have technical problems with the... Um, with his audio? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Let's see now, perhaps something with the players, I don't know. All right. Okay, now we will start. We will start the game. Kick off. Finally. We will n never know what happened, but here we are. And For we fifth go. and sixth place. Very good. Cayman has the ball. Uh, they're on the on the back foot, and the number three, very physical. He goes into contact, channels the ball. They go in. They take him down. They tackle him. They open the game to the other side, to the right side. And Cayman is has broken some tackles and off they go. Very good rocking with Bermuda, but Cayman holds on to the ball and off they go. Number three again, very physical, has a pass and up goes number ten in white, opens the ball to Stringer number. Right channel, and off he goes, and he breaks Number tackle, and he's in for a try. That is a try for David Stringer. Number nine of Cayman Islands opens up the scoreboard with five points on the board for Cayman Islands. That's right. Very quick thinking by Cayman. This is going to be a really good game. I do believe these two teams are pretty much on the level. Cayman Islands has been playing very well. And so has Bermuda. It's an It's going to be an interesting game, and that is good. The conversion is successful, so it's seven points for Cayman. Bermuda, no, no points yet. Yeah, you mentioned something. Uh, I, I mean, you're right. It's taken a toll. A lot of players are really tired. I mean, this is the last game for these two it's sides. But yeah, you can see it on a lot of players right now. Cayman for the kickoff. Number four for Cayman. Has a very good high kick. And they contest the ball and they win it. Back and off they go. They attack on the left side. A dummy pass and off, off goes number big number three. He's taken down. Number five opens the, the ball. And to the other side of the field they go. He fixes the defense, 
opens the ball and very good support, inside support, number seven for Cayman. And in he goes for another five pointer. Textbook rugby here, Edward Weston. That's his try. Very good from one side to the other. Very, very fast. No mistakes there. Places the ball under the posts. Very simple, Ruby. It was a two on one. First on the outside and then a two on one on the inside with the support. And the conversion is good. So it's 14 points for Cayman against Bermuda, who hasn't scored yet. Doing very well. Bermuda, I don't know, I, I feel it's, you know, they're a little asleep. Um, hopefully they'll wake up soon. Yes, if not, the game could get out of their hands very fast. Cayman seems very eager to get with the victory here. And restart, and this time... Uh, Bermuda does hold on to the ball, but Cayman is right there making pressure, forcing to see if they can force a mistake. Very good defense by Cayman, Ooh. very aggressive. Well recovered. There nice goes. And Bermuda is off, right through the middle. Right oh. through with the big guy. Very good tackle by Tasha number four. Silva. But they recycle the ball very fast. They open it to the left channel and up goes number four for Bermuda. He breaks the tackle and he goes to score in the middle of the posts. Tom Healy doing a very good job. Bermuda on the scoreboard. 14 to five with the conversion pending. I knew this was gonna happen though. Both very even teams. It was just a matter of time before Bermuda, Bermuda would react. Well, let's go hope so it stays that way and we have an entertaining game still. The conversion is good, so it's seven points for Bermuda against 14 for Cayman Islands. Well, an exciting game so far. They haven't let us down. No, they haven't. Bermuda ready to restart the game. Just waiting on the okay of the referee. They have to get back behind the kicker. They do that, and off they go. Very good technique to get with the ball. And Here we go, gets back online, wow. Yeah. And up goes big go number three. Okay, again, very good, offload. They open the channels and Ooh. was Unlucky. a good idea by number 12. They, he tried to kick it. Well recovered by number one. Ooh, careful with the high tackles. Oh yes, oh yes. Just a penalty, let it. We've been seeing a lot of yellow cards for those high tackles. That looked forward to me. Yes. A lot of tire, big guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, so far they haven't shown it yet, but... Um, okay. Big scrum for number... For Cayman. Oh, very good push by Bermuda. Who makes it... Very difficult for Cayman to get the ball, but they recovered and up they go. A few passes and they're on the front, front foot again. Big number three takes contact of loads. It took too long to pass that ball, I think, number three. Very good ball retention by Cayman. And up goes number three again. Passes the ball in the middle and it's recovered by Bermuda. There was a Bermuda player just waiting for the ball to come to his, his hands and he just took it and off goes Bermuda. This could be the equalizer. Yes. I think that's what it is. Very good play, switch play, inside pass and up to go in the middle. Another five pointer for Bermuda. 
Let's see if they can equalize the game. I think it's number one, Tash and De Silva, that made that. And that's halftime. We're all equal here. 14 to 14, Bermuda and Cayman LM. An even game so far. They haven't let us down. No, very physical, very good defense from both sides, making it very difficult for the other team to try and create something. That's right. We've had a lot of action here so far. We're coming to the end of this 2017 Rugby Americans North Region Tournament. Loads of action. Mex Mexico was winning all its games and now they are going to play for third place in the men's. All the noise that you may be hearing in the background, that's because I do believe Women's Mexico is playing right now. It's uh, Mexico's men team against Trinidad and Tobago. Ah, that's for, the th that's for third place right now. That's for third place. Yes. But we are waiting for Bermuda and Cayman to restart the game. And I think the referee is ready to... We're ready to restart. We're ready to restart. Second half, we've got an even match at 14 all. Let's see who wants it more badly. Yeah, who wants it more badly? Let's see this. Cayman Islands to kick off. Referee having a word with the players in the middle of the field to make sure all of the players are behind the kicker. I do believe pretty much at the top we got um, Jamaica and Guyana. Jamaica and Guyana will be fighting to be champions of this wonderful RAN tournament here in Mexico City. Okay, number seven well, catches very cleanly. Goes into contact and has the support of his... David Lund. Uh, kind of a no-look pass Oof. that could have gone very wrong, but they were in advantage. They have a penalty against Bermuda, and so Cayman has some of the pressure released. I think they're going to kick it out to gain some meters because K uh, Bermuda has a very good defensive system. Yeah, well done. Kicked into touch. Oof. Okay, we'll restart the game with a line out for. Uh, Bermuda. And let's see what they can do from Tom Healy. Position. Kind of a messy ball, but Bermuda regathers oh, the ball. No. Very good. Breaks a tackle. And up they go. They open the field. Ah, too bad. Unfortunate. Silly mistake, a little knock on by Bermuda. And again, the game seems to have gotten a little bit uh, stalled because of little silly mistakes that happened for both teams. That's what happens when you play at a fast pace. These things can happen. Cayman scrum, Bermuda gives a big push, but Cayman get with the ball, and up they go on the right side, and the player is taken out. Just Bermuda opens the game they the real quick quickly, one. a quick line out, and up they go through the middle, just mashing through several Cayman players. 
<laughs> they recycle the ball, they go to the right side. Very big unit on the wing. And uh, Cayman has stolen the ball. And again, number three goes into contact, smashes through the contact. There's no one there. Then it's taken down. But there's a penalty because uh, he was playing on the ground. They were in back 10. And so there will be a yellow card. He can, if he's not back 10, I do believe he cannot. Yes, he cannot, he cannot play the ball. He's got to be back 10. And that's yellow card that he's seen been for two minutes, which means that Cayman Islands has now a big advantage of playing seven against six. Very silly, not thinking. It's not just very physical. You've got to be absolutely concentrated in what you're doing. You cannot do this. Yes, it puts your team in a serious disadvantage. And if being seven, it's very difficult to defend being six. It opens up more, uh, more, uh, more possibilities more for the possibility, other team to exactly. And up goes number three, who offloads, but it was a forward pass. Yeah, that was unfortunate. And so, so far, Bermuda uh, getting the best of this team binning because they are making time with these scrums, and soon. Uh, the player who was seen being will come back and nothing will have happened. Cayman would, will not capitalize on this advantage that they have. No, he hasn't come back. They just made a s substitution, if I'm correct. There's still six. Yes, that was just uh, a yes. substitution. Two minutes haven't gone up. Oh! Cayman Islands stole the ball right under the feet and off they go. Let's see if they can use that one man advantage that they have. Very good, fixes the defense now. Oh, he had one man on. He had an extra man. And still. Still, everybody is trying to make it on its own. That's why they couldn't make it. Very good tackle by number by Cayman. They regathered the ball again. Bermuda wasn't there in numbers. Lost the ball. They open it. Let's see they use your wing. Very good inside pass. Now they use the wing. And now that's all they need. They they have a man overlap. But they haven't used it until now, and it should be very simple rugby. And once you do it simple, they did it. Five more points for Cayman. They could have used that like a couple of minutes ago. Yes. Num the number three, Benacio Toka Toka Vanua. Toka Toka Vanua. Toka Toka Vanua, he's from origin from Fiji, I think. Very physical, but he didn't really see what he was doing. He had a man overlap. I didn't really use it until right at the end. Let's hope that Bermuda can recover, then they come back into the game. Right now, they are losing by seven points, 21 to 14. 21, 14. Bermuda gathers the ball and Oof. smashes through the tackle. Oof. Very, Very good physical, physical contact. I think but he I hurt think, himself though. I think he hurt himself. He's not exactly. getting up. He's not getting up. And there's a penalty for holding on. Cayman Island opens quickly. And Cayman Islands taking advantage of this. They still have a man overlap. I don't know what they're they are not using it more. And very silly mistakes. A pass that doesn't, didn't go to hands goes out of the field. And we will have a line out for Bermuda. 
the Bermuda player who was on the ground gets up and is ready to keep going. No, he's being substituted. So far, Cayman Islands taking advantage of the situation. Now they're back to seven. No, Bermuda is still... They're still at six, sorry. They're still at six. Should be maybe but next play, the player will come back. But for now, Bermuda is still six players on the field. Came in line and but with a very good defensive system. They are closing the gates very quickly. They're getting there, stealing the ball, but uh, illegally, according to the referee right now. And so, ah, oh, too bad. A very good play in the middle. A very good run by Tom Healy there. Doing and well. That's the end. But I'm afraid it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. That's this the end of the match victory and fifth place for Bermuda for sorry Cayman Islands sixth place for Bermuda 21 14 and that is the end that is the last participation for both teams they have done very well they have played really well they've been really entertaining games from both sides all the games they played even against Mexico they gave Mexico a run for their money as well, but um, they end up fifth and sixth place, fifth place for Cayman Islands and sixth place for Bermuda. Congratulations to both teams. Very good job, well done. Today you have earned your rest. <laughs> Look at this last try, number seven from Cayman Islands. Gwen Parker, very good run, and then we got Tom Healy over here on another try. That was the try that uh, equalized the, the yeah, score. Yeah, the first half. The then first we got Tom Healy offloading as well with Lund, number seven. Very fast game, very entertaining game. Very physical. Yeah, a few mistakes as you so well pointed out, but I think that's due to the second day of tournament and these guys have played a lot of games and they are out in the scorching sun. It does take a toll. Yes, it does. But now they can rest. It's over for these guys. Very Can't well complain. Done. We had loads of tries. This has been a great game. And well, that will be all from Eugenio Aburto and Keteo from